kick again. Kicking in defence from the Tigers. Just not their go. Here's Beams back in the side for Collingwood. One of two changes. He and Tarrant back in. Rounds and Yagmore out of the side. Goldsack. Cloak on his favourite left side. To get over the head to Sinclair. It goes to Payne. He runs into the goal. Collingwood get the first. So there is the goal. Payne just sending it along the ground. I don't know why the modern player does that these days. So far, you'd say they've come really well prepared. They've got some good matchups and they're really having a crack. Yeah, no doubt. They just need. Shot at goal. It's that easy for the Maggies. Blair gets it from the stoppage. Jared Blair getting on to some end of some wonderful ruck work there from Darren Jolly. Richmond are bringing this game back to them, aren't they? That's exactly what it feels like at the moment. They've been able to just uh, change the events in this game a little bit. That's not being disparaging of the Tigers. It's simply they haven't been great over the last couple of years. In fact, last 30 years. Here is Travis Cloak with a wonderful kick. Well, here he is, Travis Cloak. It's the Rucks. He's a powerful man. That was a nice finish. Go. But they got the overlap over the ground there. What is the point? You can see Alex Rance. Right right Ball with yeah, a quick right one right. inside to Cloak and Cloak marks. And that's his opponent. Travis Cloak, so pretty stiff there. In modern footy, when you get the football and you look up, Alex Rance. Great effort by Luke Ball to shut him down, but I think that's uh, pretty conclusive. It was deliberate. So while he's on the ground, Travis Cloak, smart forward, takes the opportunity to duck out the back. Cloak, kicked the last Collingwood goal at the 11-minute mark of this quarter. We're now entering the 19-minute mark, and Cloak comes in and drills the goal. That's as straight as they come. Well, he's happy with that, Travis Clark. He's had his critics with his goal kicking over the years. Kicked two goals tonight. It's Beams, a little a bit of an iffy give. Swan with that scooter style running action. Got it to Shaw. Sold the foot candy on Ellis. Drills the kick to Blair. With the last two kicks inside 50 for Collingwood, the one to Dawes from Luke Ball and that one there to Jared Blair were precise. They just picked up their foot skills, but that was created by Dave hey, Swanee. Waited for the right opportunity to release Heath Shaw. He showed some poison. I said it was a great kick. It had a bit of inside-out torpy about it, but it found its target. Blair preferring to spin the ball on his approach. Get a good feel on it. 45 out, just a little bit of angle about it. His teammates like it. He likes it. Collingwood, three consecutive goals. Start of the second half of football here, Collingwood. At halftime by 18 points. Grigg out of the middle. Thomas breaks away. Gets a good look at it from 50 metres out. Launches a long ball. Collingwood inside 15 seconds. Thomas gets the break and capitalises for the Pies. That's always a fear with the class and the quality that Collingwood got out in the field. I've seen a lot of uh, Dale Thomas so far in this game but uh, has the capacity to do this and look if they get going Richo they can really blow this one apart in the second half no doubt well neither team's been able to get going and you sense that from Daisy that he's got himself going now he's had a reasonably quiet night he got on the end of that but that's fantastic 55 meters out no thought of the goal center of the ball here comes Cloak got the run over the top he's the best contested mark in the competition doesn't let them down that Travis was Knox here that was a great right, setup right. kick coming in there. They can see his teammates congratulating him there, Sinclair. That was fantastic kick to the fat side. Travis Cloak side. got separation off his opponent, Alex Rance. And when he has the ability to run and jump at the ball, as you can see here, you can't stop that. He's six foot five and he's a huge man. If he can get a jump at the ball, football, he will mark it every day of the week. Bit of grass in the air. Matthew Lloyd style there as Cloak comes in to kick his third goal. This is a dynamic Collingwood start. Shaw plays on. Centering ball. This will be punched away. Jake King trying to extend those little midget arms, but they didn't reach. Delidio to Alice. Tuvi. Left foot. More intensity needed from Alice.
Ellis marking the goal square by Thomas. Just reckon Brandon Ellis needed to stick at the contest there. BT, Dale Thomas starting in the middle of the ground has just charged forward each time and been involved in all three of these goals for Collingwood. And as a result, Lingy kicks his second goal of the quarter. Umpire's going to give it all the clear. It would have been 50 if that wasn't a goal for throwing your mouthpiece up. OK. Six consecutive goals for the Magpies. Pendleby with a clearance out of the middle to go with it. Up they fly. Jaws won't be paid the mark. Offhand set the umpire. The clear was the call was clear for Solo. Turns around. Off one step. Seven consecutive goals. Four in this quarter. Collingwood on an absolute roll here at the moment. It's 13-7. Collingwood have kicked four goals. That's efficiency at its best. Four goals out of 13 possessions. So three possessions a goal at the moment, Collingwood. It's fantastic. Ball off hands. Blair, the perfect front centre, wasn't it? Kevin Bartlett style for those old timers watching. And here's Travis Cloak. Too far out for him to score. Cloak to the top of the square. Top of the 50. An opportunity here for Solo. Did he use the body illegally? The umpire said no. Did it, uh, did it beautifully. And we spoke about Alex for Solo before. He's playing on a there, young Alex. player in only his second game, but he's only played well, 14 games well. himself. He has the ability to take marks and get the ball at ground level. Five goals in six minutes in the quarter. Fantastic play there by Tyson Goldsack, just to hold his opponent out, allow for Solo to take a one-on-one -on -one mark. Fantastic team. Better players get involved. The result, a goal to the Tigers. Out of the middle here. Swan with a little dribbler for Solo. He's very clean at ground level for Solo. Absorbs the punishment. Beams. Tuvi. Handball out wide. Beams again. This time finds Thomas. Thomas lets it rip. There's the sixth Collingwood goal of the quarter. Fair quarter for Dale Thomas. Six disposals, three clearances, three goals. Has blown this game right apart. Alice in the middle. Pendlebury needs to get involved now, and he does. Kick is wide. Side bottom. Through traffic. Handball over the top to the big man, Jolly. Gets a free look at the punt right goal. Collingwood through Jolly. Well, we see that there. This is great play by Jaron Jolly. Did his work in the ruck and then bolted forward. Unfortunately, Tyrone Vickery didn't react quick enough. And there's Darren Jolly running inside 50. Bit of a battle there at the start of the game. Richmond took it up to you a bit. But in the end, you got over the top. Nice to get the win. Yeah, it is. Good to uh, get the first four points of the year. And, uh, we knew they were, they were a side that, you know, they played really well last week for that first half. And we knew they were going to try and, you know, stick with it for a bit longer. And, and they did that. They're a very good side. And, Credit to our boys for grinding it out. And a really great burst of play there in the third quarter by the boys. Five or six goals in quick succession. That's no doubt the type of footy you want to play going forward. Yeah, I think we're just really predictable moving the ball into our forward yeah. line. Um, you know, I think we're the best side at kicking long points. So we want to fix that and uh, start getting shots nice and close and, and make them really easy. Six day break now. Carlton on Friday night. They had a fantastic win against Brisbane last Thursday night. Awesome. Be a great battle. Yeah, it will be. It's always good to play the Blues and uh, no doubt big crowd and um, they're up and about and we've got a bit of work to do. So no doubt we'll uh, dissect their game and, and see how we go. Well done tonight, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Lee. Cheers, man. Forget about the footy, mate. Have you been getting a wave over the last week? It's been absolutely pumping. How was the preparation for the game? No, it was good, mate. Uh, Jared Blair and I snuck off on Thursday, so uh, managed to get wet. Been watching a bit of it on the tally too, but uh, obviously a good preparation for tonight, and the boys got the job done. Certainly must have helped you in that third quarter. Had an absolutely blistering quarter. Kicked three goals, broke the game open. You must have been wrapped with that. Yeah, obviously I need to do something, mate. I've been pretty quiet till then, so, you know, it's nice to contribute in a small way, and I uh, feel the other boys rallied too, so to get the job done, you know, it was a bit disappointing in that last quarter there. We let him get a few easy ones, but, you know, we're uh, in the winner's circle. Get in there and enjoy it with the boys, mate. Well done.
Yes, a big win for the Magpies here. They got the job done tonight at the MCG, winning 12-13-85 to Richmond 8-16-64.